peace. How you doing? This is Dr. Samori Swagger signing in. Um, today, I want to talk briefly about a la carte hate, a la carte terrorism. A la carte, this denotes, this means where you have the freedom, the liberty to pick and choose items on a menu um, that you can uh, consume and have uh, at your choice. Um, it's not a fixed menu item. Like, you know, some people may say, oh, you know, I go to the restaurant, I want to get uh, the crab legs entree, and that comes with a fixed um, assortment of broccoli, um, rice, um, the crab legs, and something else. That's fixed. But then if it's a la carte, then it's, gonna, then it's like, you know, okay, well, um, I'm going to get some rice pilaf. Um, ooh, I see broccoli on here. I'm going to get some broccoli and... Oh, they got greens. I'm going to get some greens here, too. And, okay, they got a nice romaine salad. Let me add the salad. So you're picking and choosing to make your meal, to build your meal, right? So when I say a la carte hate, a la carte terrorism, I want to talk about what happened uh, with Brussels, Belgium. Now, we understand um, at least what's been conveyed on the news networks that uh, Brussels, Belgium has succumbed to a bombing on the airport and the metro system. This is what's reported. Um, immediately, the the news media, the uh, America, has the reflex, the knee jerk. You know, our hearts are with Belgium, um, our tears are with Belgium. We're going to fly our flags at half staff. Um, immediately, you see um, many people turn their Facebook profile pic. Uh, watermark to the Brussels uh, Belgium flag um, to demonstrate support and solidarity uh, for the victims of the bombing and for the country because of you know the way the the news media operates social media operates and, and granted people do have um, hearts they have emotions you know uh, innocent people die like you know I, I I'm not in favor of that. I am highly aware, highly aware of Brussels history with King Leopold II and his slaughter of over 10 million African Congolese in the Congo for the rubber and the ivory and other natural resources. So with the historical uh, reference of Brussels interaction with the Congo and how the government has been enriched from that exploitation and usurpation of, of land, um, and exploitation of uh, human labor um, and slaughtering of over 10 million people, I definitely lack a lot of support for the Brussels, uh, for Belgium's government, um, and the fact that they've never even paid uh, reparations back um, to the Congo. Um, but in the same vein, you have people that are born today. You know, they were probably born 10 years ago, and, you know, they... They have nothing uh, to do with that. You know, just people that are just minding business. I mean, you can have like a 10-year-old uh, walking in the airport with their parent and the 10-year-old dies. I mean, that's not cool. That could that could happen to, you know, anything, anybody, anywhere. Uh, so I'm not callous of that nature. But when it comes to the Brussels uh, for Belgium government, I really can care less because I understand what the historical... Um, evidence is and the fact that you never even had the heart to uh reparate um the Congo for that atrocity. Um so that's that. But I want to talk about this a la carte hate. So I'm literally looking at literally like right now my TV's on mute. I'm looking at CNN and what I see they they have the Brussels Belgium um memorial for the people that uh, lost their lives in the bombing. And all of a sudden, you start seeing this bum rushing. It's an ocean of uh, Belgium citizens uh, pretty much bum rush the memorial, and they're throwing up the high Hitler Nazi salute. And they're doing Nazi chants. They're doing other chants, uh, a lot of xenophobic chants, a lot of... Uh, anti-Muslim, anti-immigrant chants. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, now isn't this something? 
So we are supposed to be condemning, you know, quote unquote, hate and terrorism uh, for what? Just to embrace another form of hate and terrorism. Excuse me, um, America. Um, excuse me, uh, Belgium. Excuse me to the world. I think we know what Adolf Hitler did with the Nazis uh, and the slaughter of millions of Jews. So is Brussels worthy of the tears and attention uh, that it's getting? Is is it because it seems like there's this hate that's kind of been cloaked um, with Brussels when you have this ocean of people coming up, throwing the high Hitler Nazi salute and making these chants, these racist chants, um, anti-immigrant chants. You know, they want to get all the immigrants out of the country. Uh, so now is it OK? And, and I'm talking U.S. citizens, too, of all nationalities, you know, Latino, black, um, East Indian, every, everything. Now, we know that we know how America Holds Hitler. We know what type of light we look at Hitler from. Now, with that being said, how do we feel given all the support and half staff flags uh, in Tears for Belgium just to see that you've got all of this hatred, people throwing up the Hail Hitler Nazi salute and making these chants? Does it make you think, like, okay, this is a la carte hate? This is a la carte terrorism because basically it's oh we want to condemn this quote unquote uh extremist islamic terrorism but for what just to pick up and embrace what where hitler left off i mean who does that where <laughs> does that not sound um hypocritical the irony of it so you know a la carte no, I don't want my broccoli. I'm going to get my rice. No, I don't want extremist Islamism, but I want Hitler and Nazism. Come on, man. Come on. This does not make any sense, people. We got to really look at this type of stuff. And that's why I say it's very important for us to be more so intellectual. We have to scrutinize, be very meticulous with our thought process and not be so emotional do our research, do our facts. And there's, there's more, you know, like I say, I'm, when things happen, sometimes, you know, I really want to jump on it. But then sometimes I just kind of uh, fall back just for a little bit, just so I can assess and do a little bit more research. But when I saw this, I was like, this is very, very interesting. This is a very interesting uh, geopolitical and social phenomena that I just saw run across my TV screen. So just kind of want to get your thoughts on that. You know, this a la carte hate where we pick and choose which uh, hatred people want to embrace and which ones we want to dismiss and which ones will be tolerated and which ones won't. Because at the end of the day, it's kind of like, look, well, hey, you know, we gave you guys our support for everything that happened. But you guys looking at what I'm seeing. You guys may be uh, prone to uh, embracing Nazism, and we might need to keep an eye on you the same way we keep an eye on ISIS, because y'all look like y'all on some Nazism type thing, and we know what Hitler's plans was. You know, today, Germany, tomorrow, the world, that's Hitler's words. Uh, so, yeah, uh, with that being said, uh, I'm out. Uh, just want people to think about that, and that's it. Uh, you can hit me on Twitter at DocSwag06, D-O-C-S-W-A-G-G-0-6, and I'm out. Peace.